In the spring of 2019, 60 tornadoes hit the United States, one after another. The force of these tornadoes was on the level of a nuclear bomb. The most powerful tornado swept over Oklahoma with a speed of 208 miles or 336 kilometers per hour. Experts compared it to the explosion of eight Hiroshima atomic bombs. In 40 minutes, the storm completely destroyed the city of Moore. More than 50 people were killed and another 230 were injured. One witness was filming the tornado from the window of his SUV. He claims that the tornado formed a gigantic funnel over the city with a diameter of 1.2 miles or 2 kilometers. Confused, the extreme filming enthusiast along with his car wound up right in the center of the funnel. The tornado instantly lifted the car high above the ground and began to swing it around like a huge ocean wave. Horror gripped the man. His whole life flashed before for his eyes in anticipation of imminent death. After carrying him about 218 yards or 200 meters, the tornado smashed the car to smithereens, throwing it to the ground with incredible force. However, the driver was lucky. He escaped with only minor injuries. Still, according to scientists, the tornadoes in the United States were not the most catastrophic natural disaster of 2019. The greatest danger to the planet are the colossal fires in the Amazon rainforest. As a result of these fires, oxygen is consumed and a huge amount of carbon dioxide is released into the atmosphere. True, this is not so much caused by nature as by man himself. People ruthlessly cut down tropical forests, which are the source of about 28% of the oxygen on the planet. They do this in order to create more farmland and then burn the cut down trees. If a strong wind blows when these fires are lit, it can spread the fire to the adjacent forests. The fires over Amazonia created a huge cloud of carbon monoxide. On the NASA website, you can watch how this poisonous cloud of gas and ash developed. Pictures were taken using a satellite-mounted instrument called the Atmospheric Infrared Sounder, or AIRS. They show that at first a small cloud of smog appeared over Brazil. On the map, it was just like a small greenish drop. Then the cloud began to expand rapidly, spreading along the eastern and western coasts of South America. In less than two weeks, it changed from green to yellow, then red. The color change indicates an increase in CO2 concentration in the atmosphere, from about 100 to 160 parts per billion. Such severe air pollution is one of the main causes of the mass death of several bird and animal species in the Amazon. Hummingbirds, spotted frogs, jaguars. As a result of deforestation, they are already on the verge of extinction due to loss of habitat. The effects of the fires are the accumulation of carbon monoxide and greenhouse gases in the forest, and this can decimate their populations in a few years. But it's not only animals that have to fight for existence existence amidst smog and incinerated earth. In the tropical forests of South America, there are about 70 local tribes who don't want to leave their forest homes. If we were in their place for even a minute, we would likely understand what real hell is. However, huge fires burn not only in the Amazon region. For several months now, smoke has been densely enveloping Siberia. The biggest fire in the history of Russia is blazing there. Fire has already destroyed a territory the size of Belgium and caused the melting of ice in the Arctic. And the smoke even made its way over to the USA and Canada. According to independent experts, thousands of animals died as a result, sables, lynxes, bears, foxes, and reindeer. The greenhouse gases generated during such fires warm the climate of the entire planet. As a result, this summer, Europeans felt as if they were in a frying pan. The temperature in France, Spain, and Italy reached 46 degrees Celsius or 115 degrees Fahrenheit. The heat was blamed for the death of at least eight people in these countries. To prevent a global catastrophe, governments had to take unprecedented protective measures. In France, for example, they suspended the operation
operation of nuclear power plants, saving them from excessive heat. And people showed creative ways of resourcefulness to protect themselves from the heat. Some carried bags filled with frozen water all day long and even took them to bed at night. Now, even though the heat has already subsided, the French will feel its consequences for quite some time. So it seems like Santa Claus is unlikely to bring long-awaited Christmas trees to the kids for the new year. 80% of these trees died from the heat. At the same time, in other parts of the world, people, on the contrary, suffered from abnormal cold. In summer, snow fell in Ukraine, in June near Berdichev, and in August in Kyiv. Meteorologists say that this happened for the first time in at least a hundred years. Can you imagine a ski resort among palm trees, vines, and other tropical plants? If not, watch how parts of South America and Australia saw snow in the summer. So in the Mexican city of Guadalajara, a 1.5 meter or 4 foot layer of snow fell which, by the way, didn't melt even in the 30 degrees Celsius or 86 degrees Fahrenheit heat. The climate, according to scientists, lost its bearings due to the rapid melting of glaciers as a result of global warming. Greenland alone loses 282 trillion tons of ice annually. It flows into the oceans, cooling the water and along with it the atmosphere. However, abnormal heat or cold can still be tolerated. But how do you survive if a hail of stones falls on your head from the sky? The inhabitants of Romania can tell us all about this. In the summer of 2019, stones rained down upon them. Precipitation consisted of stone-hard chunks of dirt and ice the size of golf balls. They bombarded the cities and villages, destroying them as if it were an artillery attack. Attack. Fortunately, people managed to take refuge in houses, and no one was hurt from the impact of the elements. Not so lucky were the people of Japan. In September, they had to face the incredible strength of the unprecedented Typhoon Jebi. The storm easily crushed stone houses like they were made out of cards and drowned ocean liners like paper boats. Jebi killed more than 20 people, and about a thousand were injured. In connection with a huge number of natural disasters, the UN declared a global climate emergency. To bring the climate back to normal, the head of the organization, Antonio Guterres, called on countries to make greater efforts to implement the terms of the Paris Agreement. First of all, before the end of the century, it's necessary to slow the temperature to within 1.5 degrees Celsius or 3.5 Fahrenheit. Then, by 2050, achieve zero carbon dioxide emissions and by 2030 reduce atmospheric greenhouse gases by 45 percent. To do this, governments should immediately end harmful production in their countries, clear the atmosphere of smog and combat the relentless deforestation. Scientists are already helping politicians in this by proposing different ways to restore the climate. For example, a very original method was developed by Dutch engineers. They decided to turn smog into a real jewel. Why not? After all, it contains a lot of carbon. There's soot and other substances that diamonds are made of. So the Dutch thought of collecting urban smog and then compressing it under high pressure, thus turning it into precious stones. To do this, the researchers assembled a powerful 7-meter vacuum cleaner, which was installed in Rotterdam. This giant sucks out smog from the atmosphere and immediately produces diamonds from it on the spot. In the future, it's planned to obtain valuable carbon nanofiber from smog. So far, only one such vacuum cleaner has been created. But over time, the Dutch hope to cover the entire Sahara Desert with such devices. Then, according to scientists, in 10 years, we could return to the level of carbon dioxide of the pre-industrial era. 
But complete success cannot be achieved so long as we continue to mindlessly consume the resources of the Earth. Take food production, for example. According to the UN, about 40% of food products sold in the USA wind up in the trash. And in Europe, 100 million tons of food are thrown away annually. Just imagine how many factories pollute the sky with their exhaust pipes to produce mountains of useless products. Thus, an enormous amount of carbon dioxide gets into the atmosphere. We need to moderate our appetites right away because the environmental situation has reached a critical point. If we don't change it, the climate of the planet could turn into a cruel killer maniac, which would be impossible to escape from. If you agree with me, like and subscribe to the channel. If your opinion on this subject is different from mine, let's discuss it in the comments below. Well, if you didn't like the video, put a dislike and write what you didn't like about it. It's just that simple. Thanks for watching, my friends, and see you in the next video.